today I thought I'd wear a different hat for story time. We are reading The Day of the Dinosaur. Long ago, long, long ago, before many things we now know, before cities, towns, and roads, before people, before birds, frogs, and toads. Long, long, long before, it was the day of the dinosaurs. Some were small, as big as your cat, Fabrosaurus. Some were thin, Mesosaurus. Others fat, Eryops. Some were big, very, very big. The giant. Brontosaurus was 70 feet tall. Its name means thunder lizard. It was the biggest one of all, Brontosaurus. Dinosaurs roamed all the earth, places far and near, but now that they are gone, how do we know they were here? We know it from the skeletons they have left behind, buried in the earth for scientists to find. The bones which we call fossils tell us much about the dinosaur. They tell us its size and shape. They tell us much, much more. They tell us Thyronosaurus rex was huge and fierce and strong with terrible quick jaws and teeth six inches long. The creature Petronodon had a 20 foot wingspan it was the biggest flyer ever since the earth began. It had a four foot bill and a very lofty crest. When it comes to flying reptiles, it was the biggest and the best. Archeopex. But it no longer is the day of the dinosaur, except as fossil bones. They exist no more. They are now extinct. Sometimes we wonder why. Were there just too many for the food supply? Was there a great disaster? Or did it get too dry? It's the sort of question scientists like to think about. Maybe you'll be a scientist. Maybe you'll be the one to figure it out. The end. Bye, friends.